What's up guys? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we will talk about how to roll while diving for a volleyball. And this video was suggested by That Tiger. So thank you so much for that video suggestion. Before you continue watching this video, make sure that you watch my video about how to dive safely and properly because many of the techniques for how to roll will be based on the techniques on how to dive. And you can watch that video by clicking on the video link up here or you can find that video in the description box below. The rolling dive technique was invented by Volleyball Hall of Fame coach Hirofumi Daimatsu from Japan. Hirofumi was the head coach of the Japanese women's national team who led his team to a gold medal during the 1964 Olympics. He was an innovative coach that incorporated gymnastic techniques with volleyball, which is why his teams were known for their incredible defensive skill, which is a reputation that many Japanese national teams still have to this day. There are two advantages of rolling. The first advantage is it helps minimize injury by dissipating the force. Compared to diving without rolling, where your body will absorb some of the force from the impact of hitting the floor. The second advantage is that it will help you get up faster as soon as you pass the ball so you can be ready for the next play. Now we will talk about how to perform the rolling dive. Rolling can be a very intimidating move to learn. So the best way I recommend to start is by learning how to fall properly. Start by stepping forward with either foot, in this case the left foot, then form your platform in front of your left knee. Then reach forward with your left arm while keeping it mostly straight, and then fall on your left side, eventually rolling onto your back. Now we will roll on your shoulder, which is the safest and fastest way to roll. Start close to the floor with your left foot in front. Your left leg should be bent and your right leg should be straight. Your left arm should also be straight and in front, and your right arm should be bent and behind your left arm. Start by reaching forward with your left arm and then rolling onto your left shoulder. As you are rolling on your back, bend your right leg and right arm and tuck them in close to your body. This will help you spin faster and get your feet in a ready position to stand up. Some athletes find it helpful to straighten their left leg as they are bending their right leg during the rolling portion. I personally keep both knees bent because I feel that it helps me roll and stand up faster. You should try both variations to see which one works better for you. Don't forget to practice on both sides. Once you feel comfortable with falling and rolling, perform the entire motion starting with the pass. Focus on the following six steps to remember how to pass and roll. Step, pass, reach, roll, tuck, Stand.
Once you feel comfortable with passing and rolling without the ball, we will replace the passing motion with tossing a ball. Once you feel comfortable tossing and rolling, have someone toss the ball slightly in front and to the side of you so you can practice passing the ball and rolling. Thanks so much for watching this video. I also have some other great defensive instructional videos such as how to pancake or how to read your hitters. I will leave those video links in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you like this video and share it with all of your volleyball friends and teammates who would like to learn how to roll in volleyball. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be releasing weekly volleyball tutorial videos just like this one. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, make sure that you look through my YouTube channel before providing a video suggestion. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry. <laughs>